Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Long Dark. I'm the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. We're picking up right where we left off. Yeah, we're going to need something to eat. He just was telling me about that. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. We have, it's, yeah, we're going to probably kill some time. Uh, I'll probably rest up a little bit more too. But in the meantime, it's so dark. Do we have anything that we can use? Um... Where's our lantern? Let's go ahead and see if we can find our lantern in the dark here. I'd be lucky if I could find my way into the kitchen, really. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. Let's go ahead and just use a match real quick. There we go. Hope everyone's doing great. I am doing fantastic. Let's grab that and let's equip it. Okay, and then... No fuel in lantern. <laughs> Great. Sewing kit. Lantern. Oop, I saw it. Lantern fuel. There it is, right there. Um, I need to go into my inventory, right? Inventory. Where's the lantern? Ugh. There it is, right there. Actions. Refuel. Thank you. There we go. Now, now I can select the lantern. There we go. Light it. There we go. There we go. Oh, yes. Look at that. I did it. Oh, my God. This is, there you go. Uh, place. There we go. We can see what we're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Inventory. What do we have on us? Do we have 59 out of 66, huh? Um, I guess we're taking the gut with us, aren't we? So we are going to be kind of weighted down if I take those hides. What are we going to be then? Because I'm thinking we're going to, we're going to go back and get started on that coat. 94%. That's a cured deer hide. I'm going to grab that. Fresh deer hide, 10%. This is 94% cured. I'm going to leave that there. And I'm going to take a few more of these cured guts with me. Like that. I think four. I need to make sure I've got enough stuff with me when we go back over there. Because I'm thinking if I take this deer hide, that gives us the three we need to make uh, the pants and the coat. We could stay up there for a little bit and do some exploring up in there. Let's go to the map. Yeah, we're on our way over here. Yeah, I just... I meant to read the comments before I came in here. My goal today is to get back over to here, to the prepper catch, and then we're going to go ahead and um, start making that coat and these pants. That's that's what I think is, is going to be uh, important for us to do. Uh, I need something to eat. I don't feel like I want to build a can. I don't feel like I want to build a fire though. I really don't. Um, I think the lantern is good, even if I run out of fuel. I did want to check this out and see if this revolver is better than our other revolver. That's thirty-four. This is eighty-three. Let's take this one. Actions. Let's um, unload. Okay. And then I'm going to take this one. I'm going to drop this one. Because I'm thinking maybe I'm not getting such good shots because I'm no good with a gun that's uh, kind of worn out. I, we've got the firearm cleaning kit. But uh, we'll put that one there and take this one with us. So let's make sure we've got this loaded. 23 rounds total, huh? Beautiful. All right. So we're better armed. I feel like that was a good thing to do. Do I have, I've got spray paint and I've got some charcoal on me. Okay, I'm going to put that gun away before I misfire it and screw it all up. Um, I'm trying to think. We grabbed a pry bar. It's in my inventory, I think. We definitely needed one up there because there wasn't one there. So we've got our hatchet with us too. Hatchet and the pry bar. The pry bar we're going to leave behind, but we are really pushing our weight. But this is to get up there, right? And if we get up there with all this stuff, we should be... Good to do some work up there because there's plenty of food and we could do some exploration up there as well that's my plan that's my plan man that's my plan we got a go-go juice here we got a coffee we got a tea we got some backup oh, we really don't need this in our inventory i'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge 
it's at 67 percent i'm going to put that over there and leave that there um anything else we've got a can opener over there uh, i've got matches there's matches over there there's tons of stuff over there i think what i'm going to do is probably kill uh, just maybe sleep for a few more hours and then we can head out the door. I do need to eat a little something. Let's grab a piece of meat off the porch. And eat it. That should tide us over until we have to take off. Whew. Chilly out here, man. Is it cold out? Let's see. I wouldn't think this would be too cold right now. Uh, 24, yeah. It's just below freezing. It's not a bad storm, but we'll sleep a little bit. Okay, let's make sure I've got what I need to take with us for the gut. Um, for crafting, clothing, bearskin coat, I've got the... Okay, we've got two, we got three cured ones over there. I need four of those for that and four for that. So I need a total of eight with me. I need a black bear hide and deerskin pants is three cured deer hide and we should have that pretty darn quick once we get there this one pelt is almost done it might be done by the time we leave um okay so now i need to check and make sure i've got the gut on me the milton house mountain town that's where we're at um okay so gut i've got five and there's three there so that's eight that's what we needed we needed eight right I'm thinking maybe I should take one more just in case. Just a backup one. I'm gonna. Oh, man. This is gonna put me overweight, too. 95% cured. So it's getting close. It's getting close. Uh, I am. I'm gonna turn this off. Extinguish. There we go. We're gonna put that right back there. And I'm... Hopefully making my way to the bedroll. There it is right there. All right, let's go ahead and... I, I did not put that down. <laughs> let's sleep. Uh, let's sleep another three hours. We'll get that rest back. Be great. Maybe it's a little light, lighter in the house, too. I didn't think it was going to be too much lighter in here. Ah, bummer. Um, that's okay. I could put... I should put you right down here, actually, on the floor. There we go. Okay, good. Okay, and okay. So now I'm hungry again, and my water is a little low. I figured we could make that when we get there. I know it's dark here. We're gonna check outside and see what it looks like. I'm gonna pick up this deer pelt. Ninety-eight percent cured. I don't think it cures probably in my inventory, does it? We're fully rested. If we eat and drink, we should be good to go. Let's check. Uh, let's check what we've got going on here. Temperature-wise, uh, 17. It's actually colder now than it was before. The sky has cleared out a little bit. we got two arrows down. That's not good. Um, yeah, that's not good. I really don't want to go out when it's super cold like this. I mean, we could be in store for a storm. We can't get anywhere today. You never know, but... It looks to me like it's cleared out and we've got a breeze out there, so it's really chilly. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, let's pass time. Let's pass a couple hours this way. We'll still give us plenty of time to get there. The sun is up. It's like, what, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning right now? Probably 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay, we got one arrow now. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and take a drink. There you go. There you go. That's nice. Uh, and um, hmm, I'm thinking I'm going to eat that meat. Well, we've got plenty of food over there. Do I have any other food on me? I've got that ration on me, huh? 1,700 calories. 84%. I'm taking this just in case I need it. If anything else, I'll eat it when I get there. I'm taking it. How's our weight inventory looking? What does our inventory look like? 63 out of 66. So we're not picking anything up on the way there. Let's 
It's gonna be foggy too, so that means we're not gonna have a heads up on stuff. We'll see. It's just it's morning, right? I mean mornings are always kinda weird in the mountains. We've got an arrow down. I've got a coffee on me. It's not hot though. One thing I did take note of is that down here in this um ruined sewing kit. I threw that there. Um, there is a passageway underneath this bridge over here, so I need to go take a look at that. Why do I feel like I'm crawling on the ground? I feel like I'm really low to the ground, you know? Maybe it's because I've got all this weight on me? I don't know. We're not encumbered, so that's good. Uh, it might be better to stick to the road with this fog. Because I know there's a pass up here, but it'd be so easy for me to get myself turned around and then not know where I am. That wolf followed us back to camp, so I don't think we're going to have to worry about the wolf. Unless, of course, there's another one out here. I've got to tell you one thing, it's pretty eerie out here. Makes me think of The Shining. Yeah, we're going to get to that place, man. We're going to make ourselves a nice bear skin coat. We're going to make a deer skin pants. Oh. Oh, we got wolves. There's the church. What's up with the wolves out here, man? We just, um... I, I, I guess maybe they, uh... The graveyard. Maybe they, um... Obviously they respawn, right? I didn't think we were going to encounter any wolves back in here because that we had that one last episode chase us all the way back home. We were, we were tracking it, but of course now it's too late. And we're still losing our heat, which is not great, but if we jump into a car for a little bit, we get that back pretty fast too. So I'm not going to let that get too low either. I don't think that's a smart thing to do. And that takes forever to get it back. Roads are good. Milton, dead ahead. Man, it's thick. It's kind of interesting that it's two, two arrows down for energy right now because I'm walking. If I stop moving, it's only one. Hmm. There's no sense in going off the path, right? I mean, because I really can't see anything. We're not going to be able to survey anything. I think I'm best off just focused on... Our biggest challenge again is going to be the bear. The bear is the big challenge, always. We get past him, her, we're there. I think once I get there and I unload some of this stuff, one of my goals is going to be to kill that bear. I know. Such goals in life, but it'd be nice to be able to travel through there a little bit without having to worry about it being there. And there is that trail sign right there that I'd like to go investigate, but that bear always seems to be there. I guess if I get it down at the one end of the bridge, then I'm pretty free to run down into that area and see what it is, but knowing on my way back that there's going to be the bear. I guess what I do is I maybe come up the other side and then just approach the bridge like we're going to be doing right now. And we could just keep drawing that bear back and forth. Oh, yeah, I see ya. I see ya. You fear, you're afraid of guns? You should be. I'm gonna shoot him. Oh, baby! Woohoo! Look at there! 
Okay, maybe it was because the other gun was, uh, you know, jammed up and crappy. I could use this. Yeah, you sure can. There we go. All right. Um, I can't take nothing off of him. We're going to leave him right there. There we go. Got ourselves a wolf. One shot. I didn't wait for him to attack. I attacked. I mean, that's what you got to do. Killed your friend just now. Guts are laying back there in the ground. They called him One Shot Wonder. Searched, okay, and entered. I, I, you know what? I think I'm good. We're big. If we can get to the bridge, we can jump into a vehicle there and get ourselves warmed up. Maybe do a little something. I'm thinking about eating that MRE. I'm thinking about eating that ration. Bambi. Oh, man, yeah, see? I feel like this area right here, what is really, it's telling me to do is to make the clothes. I hadn't given crafting much of a thought because I really thought this was all about um, you just keep moving and pick up stuff along the way. But I see where now there is areas where you can actually survive quite a while. I think we're on, I don't know what it said. Did it even say what day it is right now for us? 16, 17, okay, here's the bear, here's the bridge. I don't want to hunt the bear this go round. I want to do that next time. We come back in. Let's see if we see him. Okay, we're getting warmer. I'm going to go ahead and have a, a little snack. I'm going to eat that piece of meat right there. Okay, we got canned goods coming our way. This is kind of weird, man. Where's that bear? I just feel like he's going to be right up here on the side, you know, and next thing you know, he's on top of us. What time of day is it right now? You know what? Let's go ahead and pass an hour. See what happens. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to see him go by, though, if we pass an hour, am I? Heard him. Oh, there he is right there. There he is. He's way over here. This is good, though. If he goes by, then we could get right on in there. Oh, this is frustrating because I can't see him. There he is. There he is. There he is. All right. Yeah, keep on walking, Buster. We're almost there, you guys. We got the cave still. Hate to kill him. He's pretty cool. It's a big old black bear, man. He'd tear you up so fast. Mm. Whenever I see him, I think of the movie Revenant with Leo DiCaprio. Um, oh, that bear scene is in intense. Uh, that trail right there, that trail sign right there. I know we've been on the other side of this over here, but I'm really curious to see where this actually takes me. Does it take me over there? I know you guys may have left a comment, but I'm still curious about that. So while we're here, we're going to do a little exploring. I'm just wondering how far he needs to be before he uh, completely deagros on me. I'm going to let him get to the bridge at least before I jump out of this car. I'd hate to uh, drag him all the way back here and have to wait for him to go past me and then the other direction again. It's good to know he all, he comes all the way down here, though. Did I go the right way? Did I go too far? There is a buck back here. I did. I went too far. <laughs> well, it's nice to see that there's a deer over there. I bet I come down here and get his pelt, too. Oh, 
Come on now, you're fine, you're fine. We're gonna get to that nice, nice, nice cave. You'll be able to stroll through there with your torch in hand, looking all cool. Warm you up a little bit. Oh, we're actually warming up right now being outside, so it's nice out right now. It's nice out. You know, carrying 60 pounds on your back is a difficult thing to do. Did the Grand Canyon once, and it was a 50-pound pack. And man, I gotta tell you, that that was a lot. I can't imagine having to haul all of this like this. You know, it would be um, it'd be tough on you. It really would be. It's a lot of weight. Cave. Yeah, we're in the cave again. Nice. All right, let's uh, we'll break out the torch once we get in here a little further. I love this stuff right here. That's pretty cool. All right, torch. Let's light it. There we go. Perfect. Hmm, I'll take that piece of coal. I love this part. Torch gives off a good light in here, too. I like it. Oh, not the, ex the other side. The other side, baby. The other side. And then this side here, I, I think there's more to explore. I hope there is. We'll grab a couple more sticks while I'm here. I realize I'm overweight as it is, but, or close to it anyways. But, you can never have too many sticks. Not when it comes to uh, life-saving fire. Well, I can come out here and get these anytime I want to, but I've got room. We're right there too, it's, it's so close. I thought what we'd do is maybe five hours of uh, coat making each day. It's a total of 30 hours for the coat. And then the rest of the time what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of exploring in here and see if there's anything else we need to go find up in this area. So far, I'm kind of keeping my eyes open for it right now just to see if that is a thing. And look at there, we've got some bunnies down here. I wonder if I, have I surveyed this properly? Let's go and take a look and see. Uh, survey. It's okay, we could do this. Let's see if it uh, opens anything up. Uh, not really, huh? Not really at all. Okay, well. There you go. I did it anyways. So there's our exit there, but oh, there might not be any place to go and explore from here. Is there a way down to this area down below us? I don't think there is. If that's the case, we're going to be here kind of just... Um, I guess we go back and get that deer pelt and stuff and make ourselves useful doing that. But yeah, at least I think five hours of making coats each day would be good. Our campfire is here and ready to go. Let's go on down. Okay, and we've got a lantern in here. We left one behind. Here it is right here. Okay, and then let's go to our inventory and we will see if we can find that there lantern. Um, oh, I can't refill it, but can I light it? There we go, perfect. All right, good deal. Uh, let's go ahead and put you, oh no, don't pick stuff up. There we go, just like that. Um, okay, so we need the bear hide. This stuff will come in handy. Uh huh. Let's go ahead and go into here and bear skin coat. Let's spend. Oh, I could select tool. Let's see. Improvised hatchet. 60 hours. Ooh. 45 hours. 30 hours. So it's best to do it with the knife. Okay. And I want to go for five hours doing it. 
I'm gonna be hungry and thirsty when we get done with this right here. Oh, my lantern went out too. Okay. 25 hours left. To get dark, it's very dark in here right now. Uh, let's go ahead and drink some water. I think I need to make some water. Well, I've got water in here, don't I? I've got some bottled water in here. Um, oh, I should have brought some lantern fuel too. That's what I should have done. I'm getting tired. What time of day is it now? It's not sundown yet. I'm going to actually give this... Uh, no, you know what? Let's go cook some water. Let's go cook some water. I'll take that charcoal. Let's go ahead and start a fire. Yeah, let's get some water cooked. Doesn't seem to be windy here. What? Let's start with a book. Let's see. Does it work better with a book? I was just talking about how there's no wind up here. I'm just kind of surprised that I can't build a fire. I've read that book, and it seems Come to on. me like that survival book should have taught me how to do this perfect every single time. You know? There we go. All right. Um, let's do some of the sticks we have. We know there's more back there. No, oh boy. There we go. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, do some water. Do I have another can? Um, you know what? Let's do let's do the tea. Let's put that out there too. Seven minutes until ready. One hour, eleven minutes until ready. Go back downstairs here, and I'm going to grab. Uh, I thought there was like a cooking pot down here somewhere. It's so hard to see. I know it's dark. Here it is, right here. That'll come in handy. That'll come in handy. Let's put that up here on the fire pit too. Okay, let's have ourselves a little bit of an herbal tea. Two minutes until ready. Awesome. That should help us out with our sleep tonight. Ah, perfect. And let's do... Let's put you there. And I want to... Nope. Back. And I want to do water. There we go, and cook. Perfect. All right, there we go. This is kind of a pain, huh? There's only the two two areas where I can actually do that. Hmm. A little spoiled at my house, huh? With the uh, six-burner stove, you can cook so much stuff so fast. Uh, you know, it's nice out right now. I want two minutes until melted. I said I want to lose the water. I was just thinking maybe it'd be good to go back and do... Um, there was that deer... Mm. Maybe I should save that for another day. We're going to be here for a few days going through the resources here to get these clothes made. I think maybe that's why there's so much food down there. So you can spend a few days getting, um, you know, yourself suited up. You can live off the canned goods and stuff and not have to go out and do too much. I understand that there's a thing called cabin fever. If you're inside for too much, it's a problem. I hear wolves still. I think our water will be okay. Well, those sticks are gone. Look at that. Did I pick them all up? Or do they just kind of spawn in and out? You know? I thought I left a few behind and said, oh, I'll come back for those. I've got the hatchet so we can get more. I mean, it's not that big a deal. I've just... Looks like they kind of uh, maybe despawned or left the area. Hmm. 
Maybe I did pick them all up and just don't remember doing it. Oh, I love this snow. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's one of those really warm, soft snows. Yeah, our, our temperature is awesome right now. We're happy. We're going to sleep like a baby tonight. We're going to get that extra boost in our rest tonight, I hope. How are we doing here with our water? One minute until boiled. Perfect. I feel like if I got a couple of drinks like this each day, I'm doing pretty good, you know? There's water down there too, but I hate to get out of the habit of making my water. That would be bad to do. It's the number one thing you could drink, right? Water is life. I've got a bunch of stuff on me too. I need to drop it off. I completely spaced that. There we go. How much water have we got on us now? Okay, cool. A little over half a gallon. Okay. We'll get this one right here and we'll be good to go. Is there... And then I'm going to leave this cooking pot out here since this is where I have to come and cook. Unless you guys have left me something in a comment that tells me how I'm able to cook downstairs and I hadn't seen that comment yet. But um, I'm pretty sure this is what we have to do. Um, that's going to take a little bit of time. Maybe I could go back in here for just a couple minutes and drop off this stuff in my pockets. And I think probably the best place to do that would be right here, actually. Oh, in inventory. Drop all. Drop. Drop. Okay, that one's got a, the, 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 the sloppy sound. Okay, there's the bear coat in my pocket. Um, the hatchet I could drop. Don't need that. Oh, I should probably have got myself a new hunting knife is what I should have done. That is kind of a mistake on my part there for sure. Got plenty of matches on me, it appears. Uh, yeah, okay. This is weird, the matches. Just, you know. Some of those things I think you could get, you could get by without having to do that with. Uh, deer hide. Uh, we're going to put you guys right in the hallway here. Does this stuff not go away, those flares? Alright, where do I have some room for this? I saw it. There we go. You getting sleepy, buddy? He's getting tired. Nope. There we go. Put the axe up on the workbench. Let's go check that water. He's getting tired. Holy moly! This is not pleasant at all out here. <laughs> There's a blizzard going on. Seven minutes left. Whew! Look at that. Oh man, I'm, I'm glad I drank my herbal tea. Oh, I wonder if I still have credit for that now. Looks like the effect wore off. What's it doing out here right now? What's the weather like? Oh, it's like, feels like 62 out right now. Oh, are you kidding me? It's beautiful out. It's windy though, man. Holy moly. Yeah, it feels like 62. Oh, now it went down. Look at that. My arrows dropped by two. Interesting. That is really cool. Okay, there's our water. Goodbye, storm. <laughs> Going inside. There we go. Beautiful. Indeed. All right, so I don't have a lot of lantern oil, so being in here, it's, it's going to be dark, isn't it, most of the time? At least it feels like it's going to be. I wish there was a better, another way to light this, but it doesn't appear as though there is. So we've got started on our coat. I wonder if I could squeak out another hour. I need, the, I need the, the, the cured gut on me. I need three. There we go. Maybe can I, can I do one more hour? Let's see if it says anything about affliction sprain risk. Okay, I got 24 hours left to do. 24 hours left to do on the coat. So, tomorrow we're going to have to get up. 
and uh, we're gonna have to eat canned goods because we are out of food right now. We got the MRE, which I'll probably eat in the morning, but then I'm gonna have to make sure I get the can opener and get some canned goods because that's how we're going to be eating uh, for a little while. We could go back down and see about getting that deer as well. I think we'll go down and see if we can skin some meat off that deer and the hide and stuff like that as well. So that's gonna be probably in the next episode. And maybe we'll work on seeing if we can shoot and kill that bear feel like six rounds if I jumped out of the car and shot him in the buttock six times it might be enough to put that bear down you know might be all right let me know what you think thank you so much for being here I appreciate your time have an awesome a fantastic and a superb day and I look forward to talking again next time